Long-time opposition leader Datto Seri Anwar Ibrahim was sworn in as Malaysia's Prime Minister on November 24th. He was appointed the Prime Minister by King Sultan Abdullah after days of political deadlock as the national elections produced a hung parliament. In the elections held on November 19th, Anwar's Pakatan Harapan party won the biggest share of 82 seats short of the 112 majority it needed to form a government on its own. Born in 1947 to a family of politically active parents in the small town of Cherok Tokun in Penang, Anwar Ibrahim began his political career as a firebrand student activist. He built on the Muslim empowerment movement and protested against the then long ruling party, United Malays National Organization or UMNO. In 1971, Anwar co-founded Ankatan Balia Islam Malaysia or ABIM the country's Islamic youth movement. However, in the early 1980s, he was co-opted by the then Prime Minister, Mahathir Mohamad, into the UMNO. After handling culture, agriculture and education portfolios in the 1980s, Anwar assumed the Finance Minister and Deputy Prime Minister posts in the 1990s. Anwar was credited with enabling Malaysia to tide over the damaging Asian financial crisis of 1997 to 98 by imposing cuts on government spending and adopting the International Monetary Fund's market-oriented methods. In 1997, he came close to becoming the country's leader when Mahathir appointed him as the acting Prime Minister while on a two-month vacation. His relationship with Mahathir deteriorated when Anwar began advocating political reform within the UMNO and challenged the leadership of his boss, accusing him of nepotism and cronyism. Mahathir sacked him from the deputy's post in 1998. In the next two years, he was sentenced to a total of 15 years in prison for separate charges of corruption and homosexual acts, both of which he denied and described as politically motivated. Pictures of Anwar with a black eye and facial bruises were printed in newspapers as he accused the former Malaysian police chief of beating him up. He soon became an international symbol of the democratic struggle. His conviction was overturned in 2004 and Anwar returned to politics, leading his own reformist party that came close to defeating the UMNO in the 2013 election. But once again, New sodomy charges were filed against him and he was jailed in 2015. Mahathir and Anwar briefly reconciled during the fierce opposition to then Prime Minister Najib Razak over the 1MDB corruption scandal. However, Mahathir, who had promised to hand over the country's top leadership role to Anwar, once again backed out of his promise, leading to two years of political instability. As Anwar takes charge as the Prime Minister, it remains to be seen how he tackles the problems of corruption, inequality and inflation with his roadmap for a better Malaysia.